I almost just knocked my ring light onto the ground. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, in today's video, I wanted to do a lighthearted, fun video about my sunglasses collection and calculate how much I've spent over the years on uh, designer sunglasses. <laughs> it's not like a crazy amount compared to like some collectors. I'm gonna use the term how much I've spent loosely because my mom did buy me one of these pairs of sunglasses for Christmas, but I'm just gonna add that price into like how much that has been spent on my sunglasses collection. I know a lot of people don't or can't justify spending a lot of money on like a single item, especially if it's a designer item. Trust me, I get it. And this is by no means like a bragging type video because I don't got money to spend like that either. These are just like items that I've purchased over time and that I've saved up my money for and hit bought and like paid off. So it's nice to build a collection. And like I said, this is stuff that I've purchased over time. This has not been something that I just like went in the store and got all at once. I could start in order with how I got them. So maybe I'll do that. So my first ever pair were these Dior So Real sunglasses. They're a little dirty, so please don't judge me. But. They are just like this silver pair. I got these for Christmas. These are the ones that my mom bought me. I've been sitting on the internet for the past like 30 minutes trying to find the prices for all of these. And for some of them, I just could not find the price because they're not like in style anymore, I guess. I don't really know why they wouldn't be on the website anymore. Maybe that's just how like they roll with like designer stuff. As soon as like the season's over, it's out. But yeah, so I, I could roughly remember the price of them, but I did end up finding them on the internet. <laughs> this one hurts a little, if I'm gonna be honest. This is the most expensive pair that I've gotten. I don't even wanna say it. Do I wanna say it? Do I wanna say it? Do I wanna say it? Okay. Keep in mind, these were a gift. This was a Christmas present and something that I have cherished for the last five years. I've had these for five years now. I got them. Christmas of 2016. So the retail price for these before tax were $589.98. So they definitely are a pricier item. See, aren't these so cute? Like I will justify these every single time. I know $600 on a pair of sunglasses is like, but like, come on. Keep your negative comments to yourself. If you don't like designer stuff, that's fine. Teach their own. I'm not a huge collector. The only thing that I collect of designer stuff are sunglasses. It's my favorite accessory, something that I will always splurge on. The next, so those are the first ones. They're called like the Dior So Real sunglasses. I saw them because like the Kardashians and everybody in Hollywood would wear them. And I was like, I want to be like those bitches. I want to be like them. I'm not like them. I don't have money like them. I don't look like them. But I thought their sunglasses were cute. Next pair of sunglasses that I have are also Dior sunglasses. Uh, I don't know the exact name. I found them on the internet. Uh, here's what they look like. They have like this like, this reddish on the side and then they have like the gold uh, wiring around the, the lenses. They are mirrored so you can't like see through them. So these pair actually have a fun story behind them. <laughs> so for my 21st birthday, which was May 21st, 2017, my cousin Chelsea and I went to Las Vegas for my 21st birthday. It was so much fun. We went, we stayed at the Mirage and like, you know, we just had like so much fun. And the one day I had been debating on buying another pair of sunglasses. I had gotten the first pair for Christmas and then I was like, I'm itching, I'm irresponsible right now. I just wanna buy another pair, but like I don't need them, but I want them. So I had been eyeing these ones because I had seen like Demi Lovato and like different celebrities like that wear them. So I'm like, ooh, I could be like them too if I buy these sunglasses. So I'm, Looking them up on the internet, I'm like, but I can't justify spending this much money on them. I just can't. And I don't have that money. I don't have money like that. I was just gonna put it on my credit card and worry about it later. 
tend to be my life story, what I usually do, but so I'm in Las Vegas with my cousin Chelsea. The one morning we were like, let's go to the pool. Let's just go have a pool day. We went downstairs and we just drank by the pool like all morning and the the cocktail server, the, she would just like come up to your like little um, lounge chair and you know, you just start a tab and like we were drinking there for like a while. We ended up getting like four buckets of beer and there's like five beers in a bucket and we were so drunk and the woman was like, you two need to stop. You need to go drink some water. Get out of this sun, girlfriend, get out, go. Go eat some lunch, go drink some water. So what did we do? We went swimming, we had fun, whatever. And then we went into, I don't even know what the restaurant was called, in the lobby of the Mirage. And we got lunch, we had, you know, we're just drunk, having fun, Vegas. And then right across from the restaurant, I see like a sunglasses hut or whatever the name of it is. It's like something along those lines, but I'm pretty sure it's a sunglasses hut. I'm like, Chelsea, come on, let's go, let's go, come on. So we went in there, we were so drunk trying on these sunglasses. And I was like, I want them. I'm here for my 21st birthday. I'm in Las Vegas, like what the hey? So I ended up buying them and this, they gave me a discount on them. They gave me like 20% off, I'm pretty sure, because I was staying at the Mirage. All I had to do was show them my like, my room card. And I was like, oh my God, they're 20% off. I need them. I couldn't find the price on the internet. So what do I do? I go into my credit card statements and they're all listed. So I find them from, you know, back in 2017. These sunglasses, after taxes and everything, and this was after the discount, after the 20% off, they were $538.27 that I ended up spending on these. Were they worth it? Probably not to most people, but to me, I like the collection of having these and they're also such a fun memory. I look at these every time and I laugh. I think of my 21st birthday, I think of my cousin, and I just think about how much fun we had that day, just being drunk and wandering around Las Vegas. So this was definitely, these are definitely one of my favorite pairs that I have. They're all my favorites, like I can't just like pick one, but whatever. And then, my last two were clumped together because I bought them uh, the same day. And I think it was like buy one, get the whole order. Or if you buy two, your whole order is like 20% off or something. So for my college graduation, so May of 2018, me and like my boyfriend Jake and like two other people, we went to uh, Los Angeles. I moved here. <laughs> we went to LA for like a graduation present. And I was like, I'm getting the itch again. Should I buy some more designer sunglasses? I mean, I wanna pretend like I'm cool. I wanna act like I have money around, like I'm on vacation. I don't have money. I don't have money like that. Again, I don't have money like that. But I'm like, you know, looking every single day, I knew I wanted Gucci sunglasses. I'm like, but I don't know which ones I want can't find just like the right pair. I'm just like looking in these shops every single day. I'm like, no, I mean, they're cute, but like, I don't want them, you know? I, or I shouldn't say I don't want them, I don't love them. So I go into the Sunglasses Hut. I'm just like, at this point I'm over it. I think it was Sunglasses Hut, something like that. I'm over it, I'm just like, I just want Gucci sunglasses at this point. I don't know what the fascination was like three years ago about wanting like Gucci sunglasses so damn bad, but I wanted to add them to my collection. So I went. I found a pair. I'm like, you know, they're not the ones that I have pictured in my mind, but they will do. I just want to go walk around like Rodeo Drive or like Hollywood Boulevard and my like Gucci sunglasses for some damn reason that I don't need to be doing. So these are the ones I bought. You know, they're cute. The ones that I wanted, I just wanted like perfect squares and these are kind of curved. I know, first world problems like cry me a river you're wearing gucci sunglasses and you're complaining i'm not complaining i'm just saying like i was just on a hunt for a specific pair didn't find them so i bought these ones yeah but they got like the traditional like green and red on the side um they're really cute love them i really really do love these sunglasses these are probably the ones that i wear the least only because they're just like 
they're just so, they feel luxurious. Like when you hold them, they're just like heavy and like the, the uh, little elbow thing, I don't know what you want to call them, the bendy things that make them bend in. It's like the most satisfying thing. So I don't wear these a lot. These are more like my, uh, like I just like to look at them. I know that's stupid, but again, keep in mind, this is a collection. You can do whatever you want when you collect something, okay? Some people collect stamps, and then some dumbasses like myself spend lots of money on sunglasses. What can you do? So I bought these ones, and then I was up at the, I was like about to check out, and they were like, oh, did you know that it's like, if you buy two, you get 20% off. And I was like, <laughs> you told the wrong person because I'm gonna be the one to do it. So lucky you that I came in here today. So then I just bought Ray-Bans because I've been eyeing these ones. I thought they were so cute. I had seen like uh, different like billboards and like people on like Instagram wearing them. I'm like, they're so cute. I don't know where to find them. They like, I feel like they fit any, anyone. Like they will look good on anybody. They are the most like versatile sunglasses. Cause you know, some shapes of like the, the lenses, like if they're like a cat eye or if they're square or they're circle, like sometimes they just don't fit your face super well. So you're like, they're cute, but they're not cute on me. But these sunglasses, they will look good on a cactus. Like they'll look good on anyone. Like you can put them on a horse and they're gonna look good. I don't know what it is. Come on, these I wear all the time. These are like my like quick go-to like grab sunglasses cause they're super light. They're just like, the sides of them are like wire. I shouldn't say wire, but I don't know what you want to call them. But they're they're very thin, so they're super lightweight, and they're so nice. Like I love them. They're like the least expensive ones that I own, but they're like just my favorite in like a pinch. Or like if you're just grabbing, you know, keys, wallet, sunglasses, like I'm grabbing these for sure. I'm grabbing these sunglasses because the other ones I'm like, I don't want to say I don't care about these, but I know that they're a lot less expensive than the other ones. So the other ones I'm like nervous all the time. I'm like, I don't wanna break them, whatever. So if I'm like out day drinking or I'm out shopping, like I just like, I trust myself a lot more with these ones. Here's what they look like. They're dirty, they're extremely dirty right now. Yeah, so I ended up buying the Gucci ones and these Ray-Bans in the same day because like I said, you know, they were on sale if I bought two. So I don't know the individual prices. I'm pretty sure the Ray-Bans were between 125 and 175. I don't know why I feel that, but I just remember there was a one in front of it, in front of the price tag. But I just, I feel it like deep down, like that would, within that range, like that's, that was the price of them. The final price for both of the Gucci and the Ray-Ban sunglasses on my credit card statement after 20% off and after all the taxes and whatnot, the total came out to $500.87. If we add up all of these sunglasses, get my little calculator out. Okay, so without further ado, the total cost of my designer sunglasses collection is $1,629.12. That is how much money that has been spent on my sunglasses over the years. Uh, like I said, what can you do? I know to some people that's like nothing, that's just like pocket change, but then some people that's a lot of money and I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot of money to spend on sunglasses. But I didn't buy these all at once, I'm more gifted and these are, you know, collectible items. These are items that I collect, some things that I'm proud of and some things that I'll always have. So, and I take very good care of them. I don't just toss them around, but yes. That is how much money that I've spent over time on my uh, designer sunglasses collection. This is a very lighthearted video. Just, you know, wanted to share a little story time, a little about me type thing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, you know, motivating me to do uh, more videos. I've been having so much fun shooting content. I feel like I've been getting a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. Yeah. 
If you guys like what you see, please uh, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It'll really help me out. Comment down below, leave a comment what pair were your favorite out of my collection. Comment down below if you guys collect any sunglasses or anything along those lines. I'd love to know. But until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.